There we go. Awesome. Well, good evening, everyone. I am Michelle Fletcher. I am super excited about tonight's event because like I shared earlier, this is a topic that is near and dear to me. Um, I know fitness has been a part of my life since I was in high school. Um, so you're gonna hear more of my story a little later. But anytime we can get to touch on this topic, I think is always a good thing. I know Kendall has an amazing um, talk that she's gonna do with all of us and I'm excited for you guys to hear it. So I'm gonna turn it over to Kendall, take it away. Awesome, thank you so much, Michelle. Thanks for that kind introduction. And I'm just very thankful to be a part of this with everyone who has decided to join. And thank you, Sharon and Karen and everyone who put this together. It really takes a community. Um, and I'm so proud to be a part of this health and fitness community that is about inspiring healthy living around the world. And that's what we're for. So my name is Kendall Getz and this is my husband, Luke. And we're both excited about this. Um, I am a very similar person to Michelle. I'm into competitive sports and I like being into fitness. I'm probably a little too competitive at times. <laughs> But I definitely like to push myself in the athletic arena. And even just in the past years, I have done a bunch of different CrossFit events as well as triathlons, and then even pushed myself this past year to do a full half Ironman. And all of those things have just taught me so much about what the human body can do. And then also just what we need to feel and become better at these uh, different sports. And so all of us are coming from different fitness backgrounds and fitness health journeys. And so I want to be able to share with you guys some universal information that will be just important for all of us to succeed and to have longevity. And so I'm going to share my screen so that we can get into a presentation and we can start learning. So let me share, make you guys small. Actually, hang on one second. I did this last time. Make that little. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we are going to be talking about how to fuel our bodies through fitness, um, through food, and like ultimately, we're going to learn how nutrition can give us the optimal performance that we need to just have longevity and to be able to do this well as we just want to perform better and be better at being an athlete. Um, the cool thing is being able to exercise and needing exercise is just universal. All of us need it no matter where we come from, where we live, who we are, all of us benefit from good exercise. And that can be for somebody who's a weekend warrior, who loves doing Tough Mudders or different races on every weekend. Um, you could be like me, who is an amateur athlete who just really likes pushing herself in the gym. Or you can be a professional athlete. I know we have pros who need to exercise and they push their bodies. Or maybe you're just like mom <laughs> and you're a mom and you're trying to keep up with your kids or you're even trying to keep your kids healthy and into exercise as well. So the things that we want to look at for key performance and longevity is we're going to look at need versus value when it comes to calories. We're going to talk about fuel, recovery, and even protection, which is probably my favorite part about this whole entire talk. So exercise as a whole, we live in an amazing country and time right now that offers accesses to gym memberships online training, and even if you are leery of going to the gym because of um, COVID or quarantine, you know, we just have the ability to even go outside and be able to work out and stay fit. Um, the benefits of exercise are just all over the place. There's so many wonderful things to gain from, from exercising and moving your body. And that goes from just being able to reduce chronic diseases like heart disease and diabetes, as well as being able to have just overall better quality of life. You're able to maintain your weight or even lose weight. It even is just good for your brain. It actually produces serotonin and endorphins. It makes you happy. Um, and it's just great for moving your joints. You live longer when you exercise more. It also is good for your immune system. I mean, guys, there's just so many benefits. 
Um, the thing that's interesting though is many of us believe this idea of if I move more and train longer hours, that is the key to success. And what I wanna tell you is actually you're missing out if that is your only key to success, um, that is actually going to deplete you. And what we really wanna talk about is how fuel is what is gonna optimize your performance. So also let's really get into, just even as our country, um, we are unhealthy. And it's shocking because when we think about how many of us are able to exercise and we have gyms and online training readily available to us, um, we are unhealthy and one in four people will die of heart disease. It's so sad. One in two women and one in three men will develop cancer. One in three will have diabetes by 2050. And you know, guys, even one in five children is obese. And this just breaks my heart. I'm not okay with this, that our children are more harmed by poor diet than by exposure to drugs, alcohol, and tobacco combined. You know, and the other thing is if you are working out um, and you're trying to do well, we're also at a disadvantage, disadvantage when it comes to our food and the quality of our food is decreasing. You know, more than 50% of what Americans eat is processed. It's not even real food because it's filled with preservatives, flavor enhancers, emulsifiers, synthetic vitamins, not even real vitamins from food, um, growth hormones, GMO. It's just overall less nutrition. And when we even think about if you are shopping and you're avoiding a lot of processed foods and still going to the whole food section, unfortunately, even our broccoli loses up to 50% or even 80% of its key nutrients before you even purchase it, which is wild. So what can we do just to be healthier? Well, we're definitely gonna talk about exercise because that's why we're all here. And then we're also going to hit on sleeping more you know guys just as a general rule of thumb seven to eight hours is fantastic for our bodies um, that also is important for managing our stress you know keeping your cortisol levels down please try and drink more water <laughs> you know take your own body weight and divide it by two and then that is how many ounces of water that you should aim for in a day and if you're working out you're sweating so you want to drink even more water so try and get as much as possible. I literally try and drink a gallon of water a day. Um, try and use safer products, guys. There's so many great products out there that do not have chemicals or synthetic, um, just products that are in them. So try and use safer things. And then the thing that we're gonna focus on most importantly tonight is eating real food and how that is actually gonna play into you being successful with your exercise. So guys, the cool thing is, Calories, calories equal energy. Think about that, like just doing this, moving my arms, I'm burning energy and I need calories to do that. So if you're working out, you need this fuel to build muscle and recover. But again, what is best and how do you help your performance through fuel? So what do we eat? Let's look at this picture right here and we're gonna think about whole food sources. That's what we're gonna aim for. Um, we have two different spectrums. We have fruits, vegetables, foods that we can pronounce that are only one ingredient. So like broccoli, the only ingredient is broccoli. <laughs> but then we have the opposite side, which is not whole food sources, which is majority of our foods in grocery stores, fast food restaurants, and that's processed foods like burgers, donuts, anything that is purchased in a bag or has preservatives in it. And so we wanna get whole food sources. And the reason why we want to get whole food sources is there's this cool equation of overall ability to achieve well and do well in the gym, and that is your performance. So performance equals fuel plus recovery plus protection. So fuel is your calories. That's the food that you consume. Then recovery is how you replace your calories. So your protein, rehydrating your body and getting enough sleep. And then your protection. And that comes from your nutrients. So protection is found in fruits and vegetables. And guys, this is the coolest information of all to me. I love this. If you don't know this, zoom, like just hone in on this. This is gonna give you the best results. So you can get really good recovery from your food. And so after working out, you have this wonderful 45 minute window to re rebuild muscle most effectively. You can also, um, see that when you work out, you are stressing out your body. And so what happens is you work out, you stress out your body, 
your body begins to break down DNA. It starts breaking down cells and proteins. It re releases free radicals in your body, which is part of the aging process. You also have a compromised immune system. You know, so you have all these things happening in your body and what you wanna do is use that 45 minute window to rebuild good DNA. You can rebuild good cells. And we do that with nutrition, with fruits and vegetables. And so if you look at this picture right here, <laughs> you can kind of pick which body you wanna be built up. You can either be the body that is built up on fast food, processed foods, and that's what's gonna come out in your performance, or you can be built up of a body that is full of energy and full of fresh produce that's gonna give you what you need to perform your best in the gym. And so one of the things that I hope we also become aware of is marketing fads. We gotta be so careful when we go shopping because everywhere we look, everything is screaming fitness and health, it's sexy, it's nutrition, you know, there's all these different buzzwords that are in our shopping and we have to just be able to read them and understand, hey, is this really backed up by research? Is this real? And so many things like protein powders will say, build muscle and get stronger. You know, we have energy drinks that claim that they have added vitamins in them. There's protein bars, you know, claiming to have less cholesterol or sports drinks that have zero sugars, you know, even down to fat burners that's out there on the market for us to buy and it's claiming you're gonna lose weight. Well, the thing is, you have to be so careful because supplements are not regulated the same as food by the FDA. Responsibility ultimately falls onto the manufacturer to make sure that there are no hazardous chemicals or byproducts or things that should not be in that product that you purchase. And sadly, too, a lot of these things that have these buzzwords and claims on them, they're just not backed up by research. So you're buying something, you might be putting your money into it, and it could be a total waste of money and it could be hazardous to your health. So this is my personal story too. I fell into this category when I was training for a half Ironman race. I wanted to make sure I was buying protein powders, multivitamins, I wanted the full gamut of health products, and I say that with you know, health products, that were going to help me do better in this race, and I thought that that was the ultimate win. And you know, what's crazy is 70% of Americans are trying to do the same thing that I was doing when I was training for my race. We're trying to fill the gap with a multivitamin. And what's unfortunate is a multivitamin has only a few isolated nutrients, even a, an expensive one, a really good multivitamin. There's only a few key nutrients in it. On the other hand, apple, this wonderful apple that you can buy in the grocery store or pick off of a tree has approximately 10,000 phytonutrients working in synergy to help you have more minerals, nutrients, all the things you need. And so for me personally, when I was training for my race, I was prescribed by my doctor to be taking over 25 different multivitamins every single day to fill in and bridge that gap. Unfortunately, it was not working. It simply wasn't working. I was taking um, every single month a body scan to see what was happening on a cellular level for my body. And I have proven facts from this cellular level testing that when I was going in, the, the multivitamins were not working because my cell walls were getting thinner and thinner and thinner from overtraining and oxidative stress. And so my, even, my doctor even said to me, hey, Kendall, by the time you get to race day, you're going to be probably wiped out by a common cold. Make sure you stay healthy. Try and stay away from getting sick because a cold, for somebody who is compromised with uh, very thin cell walls, a cold could act like a flu in my body. And that's what happens to so many athletes. They get to race day, they get to their events, and they are so overstressed and their body is so worn down from training that they get sick. And unfortunately, these multivitamins are not filling in the gap like food can. So I'm excited about this because we have a thing um, to prevent that and to help us. And we can see right here, oxidative stress is in our bodies. It's happening to us every single day. And it's the aging process. And it's how diseases happen. It's what happens when we overtrain at the gym. Um, it just happens even when we work out. And what happens is it's just our body aging and breaking down. Well, there's really good news. <laughs> this is the best news 
ever, guys. Antioxidants are found in fruits and vegetables and they are what slow down the aging process and ultimately can help us prevent it down the road. And so I love it because right here we can see in this wonderful apple that there are two sides to how we can have our bodies age. We can either be one side that is brown, that has been left out and is quickly, rapidly decaying, or it can be the other side. And I wanna be that side. I wanna be the side that has the protection on it. And that is through plants. They rubbed lemon juice on it, and it's slowing down that process, and that is done through whole foods. So what we're gonna focus on, guys, is plants are proven to protect and support our overall health. Fact, that is so cool. And when we even think about our health, only 20% of that is actually working out in the gym and getting fit. The other 80% is up to your nutrition. So you cannot, I don't care how fast you are, you cannot outrun your fork. So here's just some general guidelines that I live by for my overall health and fitness when it comes to eating and refueling my body. The average adult is recommended to get seven to 13 fruits and vegetables a day. So your fist is a serving size. So that is one serving of a fruit or a vegetable. But if you're an athlete, you're recommended to get nine to 17 fruits and vegetables a day. That is a lot of servings. But you got to understand, you need more, I need more, you need more if you're working out because your body is undergoing oxidative stress. And we want to slow that down, prevent our body from going underneath aging, decaying, so more is better. And then on top of that, we want to fill in those other macronutrients. So lean protein from fish and legumes and soy and poultry is so good for you. Um, you can get fats from plants like avocados and oils and nut butters and even just nuts like walnuts and pecans. And also thinking about complex carbs. So all these different ancient grains, amaranth, um, protein, or not protein, <laughs> carbs like um, oatmeal. I could, that just left my brain. I couldn't even think about carbs. We ate oatmeal this morning. Um, all those complex carbs though are so good for you. They give you that energy that's gonna last longer and take longer to break down. And then back to your micronutrition, guys, back to fruits and vegetables, because those are the key that are going to give you all those vitamins and minerals that you need. So I hope you guys see your food differently. That's my goal. I hope that you start looking at oranges and apples and bananas and pears and see, wow, <laughs> that right there is energy. It's not just to fill you up. It's not just because mama told you to eat more fruits and vegetables, but it's because it's actually going to protect you. It's going to strengthen your immune system give you key nutrients, slow down the aging process, and it's gonna give you everything you need to recover and build and grow better muscles and just develop a better body for the future. So you can work out for however many years you've got in your fitness journey. So I am gonna pass this off to Sandy, who's gonna take over from here. Wow, thank you, Ms. Kendall. I absolutely love all the information you're sharing, and I'm sure that we are all finding so much value in this tonight. Thank you so much. As she mentioned, my name is Sandy, and I am from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. And tonight, I am so happy to share with you the amazing tool that my family and I have been using for the last eight years. It's called Juice Plus. So you're probably wondering, what is it, right? It's awesome. We love it. It is literally a simple way to get 30 fruits and vegetables into your diet every single day. So I don't know about you, but I'm on vacation this week, so maybe I have an excuse. I don't think I've had any fruits and my vegetables in my diet besides what's in my juice plus and my shake today, which is kind of bad to say, right? Because I work for the company and I grow my own. But what's so amazing about juice plus is it's a very simple way to bridge the gap of what you should be eating and what you're really eating every single day. So it's pretty awesome the way that they thought of this over 25 years ago they realized that it you know juicing every single day may not be sustainable for most people but they actually take the work out of it for us so what our company does is they've actually partnered with several family farms across the country and what they do is they have them pick the produce at the peak ripeness so as Kendall mentioned I mean it's scary to think that you could eat broccoli that's lost 50 to 80 percent of the nutrition Wow, I don't even want to think about that. But that's why the serving sites have gone up for, over the years. So if you think about it, they pick the broccoli when it looks the best, then they transport it across the country, and it could be maybe two to three weeks before it actually ends up in your dining room. 
crazy, right? So what Juice Plus does is they pick the most nutrition dense vine ripened fruits and vegetables. And I can't even believe this. I mean, within 24 to 48 hours, this is so awesome. They actually will either pulverize or flash freeze the fruit or vegetable. So what they do, which I think is so awesome, is some people don't even realize the um, vitamin C in oranges a lot of times has the most nutrition density or the most vitamin C is found in the peel. But I'm not sure when the last time you've taken a bite of an orange is. I haven't. I never eat the peel, right? But the company actually pulverizes and blends together a lot of the seeds, the peels, the leaves of these 30 fruits and vegetables. So the produce is pulverized all together and it's then dried at a very low temperature that turns it into a powder. So I like to call it a plant powder or a produce concentrate. And as she mentioned earlier, you can eat set, you're supposed to eat seven to 13 servings. I, as a woman, fall into the middle category, which would be an average of 10 servings of fruits and vegetables every day. And again, it's the size of your fist. So think about it, 10 servings of fruits and vegetables every single day. My goodness, most people I talk to probably don't eat two to three, which is pretty sad. And that goes back to the numbers that she was talking about before. So I absolutely love the fact that I can bridge the gap of what I should be eating every day, but I actually am with our Juice Plus produce concentrates. And we have a great picture on the next slide that shows the 30 fruits and vegetables that are actually in Juice Plus. And I, you know, I'm not gonna go into my stories of all the things that I've actually never eaten in real life because that would be kind of embarrassing. But this picture is such a great demonstration, I'm a visual person, of all of the stuff that's in here. Like when is the last time that you've had, for example, a cranberry or a date or prunes or I can't say kale because everyone eats kale nowadays, right? But how about if you look over in the vent in the um, berries blend, bilberry? I've never had one of those. I've never even seen one of those in real life, right? <laughs> That's pretty amazing. So I think another thing that I think is really impressive about Juice Plus, besides the fact that we've been around for 25 years and we have over 35 clinical research studies, is we're a 100% plant-based company. All of our products are plant-based and vegan. So I love to tell people we were vegan and gluten-free and dairy-free, all of that before it was a cool thing. So you're probably wondering, what does Juice Plus look like? I have my little capsules here. Hopefully you can see them. There's a red one, a purple one, and a green one. And you would take, as an adult, two of each of these every single day. So in addition to our really delicious, amazing, nutrient-dense fruits and vegetables in a capsule, we also have a, a protein powder. So as Kendall mentioned before, something that I think is so important is so many supplements on the market are not regulated, but Juice Plus really stands apart for so many reasons. One of the things that, that I think is so appreciative in both our produce concentrate and our complete is that it's NSF certified, which means there's nothing in the product that is not on the label. And that's really important. So the Juice Plus Complete, and I just want to say, I mean, there's so many things that are awesome about it, but the first thing I really want to mention is the taste. If you've ever tasted any of the, the protein mark, um, blends out on the market, some of them can be pretty difficult to swallow, if you don't mind me saying. Um, and I can say I myself, I've tasted over 13 different brands, and this is the most delicious thing you've ever tasted. I have a one and a half year old and a nine year old who beg for this almost every single day. So Juice Plus is vegan. Uh, non-GMO, gluten-free, as I mentioned, dairy-free, 13 grams of protein, eight grams of fiber. And what's so awesome about that, I think, is that it makes it loads glycemic. So by eating this super delicious shake every single day, it actually has the same glycemic index level as broccoli. So again, going back to, you know, the 30 fruits and vegetables, how many of you had today radish sprouts, alfalfa sprouts, amaranth? My goodness, I don't think I've ever eaten that in real life. <laughs> But I will tell you, in addition to just the protein shakes, we do make so many snacks with it. Um, my family loves the uh, cookie dough bars. We make almond butter hearts. Uh, I travel, I mean, I'm on vacation now and we travel with chocolate muffins. I mean, who else feeds their kids chocolate muffins for breakfast? Not many people that I know. But what's great is that it's filled with such delicious and nutritious ingredients. And one of the things in there that I do want to mention is we do have a water washed uh, soy in there. And sometimes I do want to say that people have asked me questions about soy, but there's been tons of research done out there, and it has shown that the safety of soy depends on the source. And as it shows on the slide, it's very important to know this is a whole soybean that's been minimally, pro minimally processed. So it's very good for you, very delicious, very nutritious. And if you look at some of our research studies, we actually have some that are done on uh, ovarian cancer survivors. So it's really great. 
The last tool that I'm gonna to share today is our plant-based omegas. And I'm not naturally blonde, so no blonde jokes, please. But did you know that people all around the world are downing these omegas, fish oil pills, because they think that the fish is so rich in omega. But here's the blonde joke, right? Actually, the rich omega from the algae. I had no idea. I think that is so impressive and so amazing that our company went beyond that. We have a vegan plant-based omega source that is rich in five different oils and it has no fish. Even better, it doesn't have any fishy burps, so you're not going to have that yucky taste in your mouth. And for those of you who don't know about omegas, they're so good for so many reasons, just like fruits and vegetables and plant-based proteins in your body. But specifically, most importantly, the omegas are great for heart health, brain, joints, skin, eyes. And one thing that I think is so great about it is not only is it a full spectrum, it has omegas three, six, sevens, and nines, but it's a very sustainable source. As we mentioned, it does not use any fish whatsoever. And if you've seen some of the things out there of what, you know, how those fish are harvested in order to make those omegas, you would definitely take it just for that reason alone. Um, and I will say as a, as a personal experience for myself, um, we had a friend we were talking about earlier and she mentioned mom brain. I do have two little ones myself. And I don't know if it's ever happened to you, but you walk through room and you're like, oh, I was going to get something. And you come back and you're like, shoot, what was I going to get? I can tell you, it's kind of crazy, but ever since I've been taking these omegas, I have thought much clearer and I don't have that experience anymore. So it's pretty awesome and I highly recommend it to everyone out there. Kendall, you want to go ahead and take it away? Oh, I'm so sorry. <gasps> these are the okay, I'm going to share now. Oh the... my goodness. <laughs> oh, I, would, I would love for all of us then to be able to see each other while we share stories because, um, I think it'll be more fun for us to see each other's faces of who's sharing. Absolutely. So we'll get back on here. We've got some really great stories coming up. And um, Michelle, do you want to start out with your story first? Sure. So like I mentioned in the beginning, um, fitness was my thing. I played soccer in high school and in college I also played like intramural soccer and just stayed really active during those times. I mean fitness has always been a way to relieve stress for me. So that was really how I thought I would help to beat like chronic disease that runs in my family. I thought that fitness was the, the answer and so I had no idea about that nutritional component to fitness. So I was a young mom with two little ones when I first heard about Juice Plus, and it just made instant sense to me. I was just like, oh my goodness, I know that has been the piece of the puzzle that I've been missing is that nutrition. And so we started on it as a family, and I will say like fitness was always my thing, and that was the first thing. That was the area where I noticed the most changes in, like, in my health. My endurance and my stamina, they improved significantly um, within three months of me starting on Juice Plus. And then I also noticed like my recovery times after workouts, because I was one of those people that asked me to do like any random workout, I was in for it. I would do CrossFit, spinning, weight training. Um, I would do 5Ks, running, you name it, I'd pretty much try it. <laughs> and so, you know, there were times prior to being on Juice Plus that if I would try a new workout, oh my goodness, I would be sore for days. But I started to notice with my random workouts that my recovery times were so much less. And I was just like, wow, that was great. Because I would even have people say, hey, I, I remember I went bike riding with some girlfriends and we did like 19 miles and I had never done that before. And they were like, you're going to feel that tomorrow. And I was so nervous because I thought I was going to be so sore the next day. But I woke up and I felt really good. So that was amazing. And then I've been able to raise my kids who have been getting this nutrition in their body since they were one and three years old with this nutrition. And now they are also mini athletes. Um, they, my son plays pretty much every sport that's out there. We just kind of rotate him into whatever's happening for that season. And he performs really well. And then my daughter, she plays travel soccer. And I know one of the things that like really warmed my heart when she first started travel soccer at eight years old, now she's 12, um, was that her coach and her coach had also been in the Olympics, um, for another sport, but she 
grew up playing soccer for her entire life. So she knew how important nutrition was to fueling the body and having optimal performance. But one thing that she said to me was like, you know, I can tell that you're feeding her different. Like you're doing something different with her nutrition because of how she performs and how much endurance and stamina she would have on the field. So, you know, that really helped me know that I was doing something really good for them. Like I knew I was, but it was good for someone else to identify it. So it's just been a true blessing for my entire family, fitness and overall health wise. It's been an amazing addition to our our regimen every day. So, and I'll turn this over to Kaylee. Thanks, Michelle. Um, my journey started um, as a really young athlete. I grew up being a competitive gymnast and a competitive cheerleader. And um, in that world, it is often talked a lot about how to make your body look physically fit, um, but I wasn't taught anything about nutrition. And so I was living off of soda and sugars and things that I thought I needed to get through workouts to give me energy. But what I didn't know is that those things were really draining me. Um, I carried on this way all the way through college. I was a D1 um, collegiate athlete and we were traveling all over the country, um, cheering for four sports in one season uh, in front of 80,000 fans. I mean, our, our schedule was really great grueling um, and I didn't even have time to think about what I was doing myself with but I also wasn't educated on that and to be really honest most of the time I was exhausted sick and grumpy um, and I thought that that's just what life was like and I pushed through it I forced myself to exercise because I thought that's what mattered um, but the truth is you can't out train a bad diet <laughs> um, and then I was introduced to fruits and vegetables in a capsule and it made sense to me immediately because I just knew I needed better nutrition. Um, I saw that it was simple, doable, and affordable, and that's exactly what I needed at that time in my life. And within weeks, I had more energy than I'd had in years as an athlete. I started craving fruits and vegetables for the first time in my life instead of having that sugar addiction, and I started drinking more water instead of soda. And I mean, that was just a game changer for me as an athlete. I'm now in my mid thirties and I am stronger and faster and I recover better now than I ever did as a collegiate athlete. Um, it's a running joke in our gym that I have more energy <laughs> than anybody knows what to do with and, um, and that I'm not, I'm always there because I'm not getting sick and having to take time out. My kids are always healthy. Um, and I'm raising three young girls and I want them to grow up knowing what fuels their body to perform well and not focusing on what their bodies look like. And I'm forever thankful to this community and this nutrition for that. And so, um, you know, of course I'm going to tell, all of the people that I know that are active about this, um, because it was just a no brainer. If I knew something that was helping me as an athlete, helping my kids, um, it, I should just tell other people about that. So thank you for letting me share my story tonight and I'm gonna pass it to Luke. All right. So I'm Luke and I'm married to Kendall. And mm -hmm. I'm a firefighter and lifetime athlete. And I'm gonna share with you my story and how it's related to fitness and juice plus. So <clears throat> starting with growing up, so I've always been into athletics. I, I played football through grade school. I wrestled, I did track and field. Uh, I was into diving and swimming. I grew up in South Florida. And when I was eight, I ran into an obstacle. I was diagnosed with asthma. I was in the Keys, we were diving and fishing. And I, what are you doing? I'll make it more simple. <laughs> so I had an asthma attack, a really bad one, and I was rushed to the ER. I thought I was going to die and I couldn't breathe. I was, I stayed in the ER for um, overnight. I went home, I, but I went home with a bunch of new prescriptions and uh, a new way to breathe. I had to take this inhaler with me. And as a little kid, that was, you know, changed my life because now I couldn't do a lot of things I wanted to do. And at the same time, my mom had got everybody on the whole family on Juice Plus. And after a year of being on the product, um, I had completely come off of all of my asthmatic medications and I'm no longer 
still have not been on any of them to this day. And it's been, it's been, that's a big deal for me, you know? Um, and I haven't looked back from that. And, but as an adult, as I've gotten older, I've learned that food is more, it's food, food is fuel. And <clears throat> I learned that what we put in determines what we get out of our bodies and that <clears throat> not all calories are created equally. Like Kendall shared, uh, the apple, it's got over 10,000 different phytonutrients and vitamins in it and a good multivitamin, it's got 31. So there's a big difference there and they work in synergy together. Um, so all of this good food is growing ar around us. I believe that God created it for us to eat. <clears throat> so Juice Plus really makes sense to me here. Um, I really want to rebuild healthy cells. I want to slow down the aging process. Uh, I want to get bigger. I want to get faster. <laughs> I want to get stronger. Uh, and I want to protect all the progress that I'm making in my workouts and at the gym. Juice Plus definitely helps me do that. Um, it's proven to protect DNA, proven to reduce oxidative stress and reduce inflammation. Um, and I noticed this um, specifically um, besides asthma, also with lower back pain, um, it reduces my inflammation. Uh, I have more energy um, day in and day out. Uh, also, I hardly ever get sick. Um, can't I must have been a child last time I had the flu. Um, and now we're getting, we're starting a, a bodybuilding competition for the first time and our diet's strict. Mine's not as strict now, but it will get really strict and I'll be reducing a lot of um, foods that I'll be able to eat. And, but throughout all this prep that I'm going to be doing, I'm going to be able to get 30 or more superfoods in my diet every single day. That's going to reheal my cells and rebuild strong cells with strong dna um as i'm as i'm working out and training then that's a big deal yeah i love that i'll um share my screen again because we have got a wonderful person who's going to be sharing on here um who's going to be able to talk about some of the research that's behind here so let me get this large again Gloria, would you love to take it away? I'd love for you to share. Yeah, can you hear me? Perfect. Awesome. Yep. I'm Gloria and I'm representing the senior crowd and over 70 people tonight. And I'm going to share with you some research that ha as it pertains to Juice Plus. But first of all, because I had some tech difficulties, I'm gonna turn off the video and continue now with this. I want to start with the Juice Plus company became the exclusive nutritional supplement partner of USA Volleyball last year, April 2019. Dozens of members of the national volleyball teams currently consume Juice Plus products. And I love this from their CEO, Jamie Davis, said our national team athletes are among the best in the world. And it's important to note that volleyball is currently the number one participation sport for girls in U.S. high schools. And I know guys love volleyball, too. And um, on here you see some ambassadors. By the way, the uh, volleyball, USA Volleyball is an official partner with Juice Plus. And these are some ambassadors uh, with Juice Plus. And I love uh, sharing just real quick who these people are. Ricky Kroll, he was a two-time Super Bowl winner. Zane Growth, holder of several US swim records. Juice Plus, he started in, at, when he was aged 10. And then on the right side at the top, you see Winter Vanecki, and she was a marathon runner, triathlete, even an aerial skier. And she started at nine years old with Juice Plus. Brittany Hochevar is a volleyball. Um, she was on the national volleyball team, and I love her statement. She said, you want to run on premium fuel. I love that because she takes Juice Plus. And then there's Shannon Miller. She led the Magnificent Seven in the 96th Olympics. She's the most decorated gymnast in history. 
And uh, my daughter actually went there to compete in her gym uh, years ago, when she was also uh, a very uh, good competitive athlete. And the neat thing about Sh Shannon Miller is she overcame ovarian cancer. And we do have a study at MD Anderson on ovarian cancer survivors. Jason Fowler, the last one there that you see, he was nationally ranked in motocross at age 10. And at age 17, tragically, he was paralyzed chest down when he, un he collided with a rock in practice. He did rehab quickly and six months later, he was wheelchair racing. Next, on the next slide, you'll see some clinical research. And I love this, the pub publications are of relevance to athletes because these all demonstrate, among other benefits, that Juice Plus capsules help with the immune stabilization and reduction of oxidative stress. And then I don't know if you put a couple more on there, or just this one, um, uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll, yeah, there were more, and that's okay. The last publications, and we have a number of them, provide bioavailable uh, shows that we have bioavailable polyphenols and other phytonutrients. And the neat thing is bioavailability is huge. If a product is not bioavailable, meaning it gets into the bloodstream, then um, it's not a good product. It doesn't do anything for you if it doesn't get into your, into your body. And uh, you can see here, re um, research results have attracted thousands of doctors. I love what Dr. Uh, du Bois says there at the bottom, there is nothing else available any place in the world with or without a prescription that has been clinically proven to do what Juice Plus has been proven to do. And so you can see all the things that it contributes to cardiovascular wellness, inflammatory responses, all the things that we've been mentioning tonight, and especially uh, the immune system and oxidative stress with athletes. So my story is just a couple of minutes. And um, I had a, a compromised immune system. So this was really important to me. I was getting laryngitis, bronchitis, uh, strep throat, flu, one or more of those every year during my teaching career and even chronic fatigue, which was another um, immune system issue. So uh, I was so tired after a week of teaching, even Friday nights with family and friends, it got more and more difficult. When I taught at the college here uh, as an instructor, I would need to stop at a gas station to close my eyes, even for a 20 minute rest before getting home. And then when I got home, I would wanna sleep even more before dinner. So I grew up playing all sorts of sports, including fast pitch at the University of Kansas, and so sports were a part of my life. I, I loved competitiveness. I'm uh, just like <laughs> many that are on this call tonight. I added competitive tennis, volleyball, and even uh, women's golf and played into my 40s and 50s. But then sports activities really slowed down and my body was crying out and needing help. I started uh, taking a lot of different vitamins. I had a whole probably medicine chest full of vitamins, like I think Kendall, you mentioned that earlier, and they were doing no good for my body. I never felt any difference, nothing was improving. And so my body actually was crying out for help. And then 13 years ago, and I wished I would have known this when I was uh, in my youth, but 13 years ago, I uh, was, introduced to Juice Plus and the shakes and added the 45 plant nutrients. And then later, the, uh, pair, uh, I added two tower gardens and then of course the Omega blend. So I had all of this stuff flooding my body. And so my bouts with all of those health issues became less and less prevalent. So the key, as I found out, plants were so important and they changed um, and made me have an active lifestyle again. And along with, you know, nuts, shakes, more whole foods, I was ultimately man able to manage the oxidative stress and inflammation that my body was experiencing. And so I was thrilled to have back my evenings after work with energy to start my new passion, which was pickleball. And so for me to play competitively in the Senior Olympics as recently as 2018 at age 70 was really exhilarating. It was a huge thing for me. I don't, 
take any meds, no pharmaceuticals anymore, no antibiotics if I can avoid it. If I do, it would be very uh, a short time and then do some kind of probiotic to get my body back. Um, and I, I also just wanted to share real quick at the very end here, I'm almost done. I have a twin sister and right at about the time that I won my uh, senior Olympics, she was competing as a cyclist and very competitive, worked very hard and had a lot of oxidative stress and was so thankful for her shakes and juice plus to help her along with whole foods that she changed her diet to. And she won and had no expectations, but um, after working as hard as she did, she won three gold medals at the Huntsman World Senior Games in Utah at about the same age, about 70 as, as I did. And she even broke the course record for hill climb. If you know anything about cycling, that was huge. So I say to anyone, seniors, um, as just uh, to every person, whether you're senior or not, I say to everyone, just keep moving. <laughs> and so I would like to um, move on to Michelle, correct? And she will tell you how you can get these. Oh, oops. yes, I'm sorry <laughs> to Dr. Phillips. I was sorry, I forgot to. <laughs> when you exercise, you feel like you're entitled to eat anything you want. And to a certain extent, I mean, it's okay to go out and treat yourself. But, you know, exercising all the time is not an excuse to go out and, you know, head to the local fast food chain and, and pick out. You know, you also need to fuel your body for performance. What we're talking about really is the difference between macronutrition, which is, which is eating, you know, the fats, the carbohydrates, and proteins that we're all really familiar with. That's just one aspect of nutrition as it applies to not only good health, but, you know, as it relates to exercise. But, uh, but it's also the important role of the micronutrition and you get micronutrition uh, from fruits and vegetables and so people get those confused and I like to think of macronutrition as uh, the fuel that makes your engine run and micronutrition is the oil that continues to make your engine run properly and you know you can't just have micro macronutrients and expect your engine to run well um, just like you can't put gasoline in a car and not put oil in it because eventually that engine it'll continue to run for a while but it will break down and our body's engines are basically the same kind of thing you know you can put all the macronutrients into it that you want but if you're not putting micronutrients into it eventually your engine is going to fail as well so that's why i recommend juice plus for athletes especially in my type of competition ironman competition but for anybody at any level of a physical activity juice plus is going to provide the micronutrition to keep your engine running smoothly protecting your ability to perform well not just today but next month how about next year how about five or ten years from now and that's what juice plus is all about is protecting your performance i love that video um before i even go into how affordable juice plus is I do not want to miss out on us hearing from Tom Graves. He's a professional rower and he's going to share his experience with this nutrition and being an athlete. Tom? There we go. Oh, there you go. There are a few quick stories with you guys um, from my experiences with uh, training, uh, performance, juice plus. Um, so in 2012, I met Tom O'Keefe uh, at the boathouse when I was training for the Olympics in London. And um, so Tom O'Keefe is on this call, I believe. Um, and so me and my brothers, me, my two brothers and our cousin were all training. And so he came up to us, you know, showed us the graph of recovery, said, if you guys are training seriously, you guys need to start taking juice plus. We're like, sure, but what is it? <laughs> And uh, anyways, so he got us on it and we started taking it, um, just me and my brother, Peter. And so about, we just started doing everything he said. About a week later, you know, I was a little uh, ignorant at that time. So I just like, I don't want to try something too different right before this race. Um, so I just stopped taking it. Uh, meanwhile, my brother, Peter, just kept doing exactly as Tom said. Uh, taking the complete doubling, tripling up on Juice Plus every day. 
and we're training six hours a day, like weightlifting, crazy amounts of things. And um, about a month later, uh, my brother Peter separated, clearly separated himself from our group in training. Uh, so before, depending on the day, you know, we were pretty equal levels of speed. Um, but then after that one month, uh, Peter had raised the bar by far and we were just like way behind them. We didn't know, we now know why is because he was able to recover through the uh, nutrition that he was getting through the juice plus. And it was pretty incredible to see. And long story short, he's actually the only one out of our group that made the 2012 Olympic team. Um, so that's how the story starts. Uh, then, you know, I went to watch my brother race the Olympics. Right when I get back uh, in September, you know, I started doing some more training and stuff. But uh, I just kept getting really, really sick. And I didn't know why. So I went into the doctor. They gave me antibiotics. Uh, then nothing was happening after a week. Went back in. They gave me stronger antibiotics. After about a month of doing that, going to the doctor three or four times, uh, one of my friends said, you've got to get a blood test. So I went and got the blood test. She put it up on the screen and said, hey, I hate to tell you this, but it was, she actually didn't even tell me what the problem necessarily was. But she did say, if you don't change your eating habits slash lifestyle as you walk out of this office, then you're going to be very, very sick very, very soon. And so I was thinking, like, I mean, what am I doing wrong? Like, I'm training all the time. And, but I didn't realize I was just running my body into the ground and I wasn't getting the supporting nutrition to um, yeah, keep my body running at an optimal level. So anyways, right as I left the office, I called Tom of Keep Up. And I said, hey, uh, tell me everything you know. He said, come over right now. So I came over, spent literally the whole day with him. You know, I started getting on Juice Plus and yeah, I mean, I would say the rest is history. Uh, you know, at 38, feeling better than ever. Uh, still training for, uh, well, <laughs> the Olympics was pretty much canceled this year, but um, next year, 2021 uh, in Tokyo and uh, doing triathlons as well. Uh, qualified for one of the world championships and I'll probably continue to do that as well. Um, so that's as an athlete and my health story uh, as a coach. So I coach a high school rowing team in Long Beach. And um, so I, you know, when the opportunity presents itself, I share Juice Plus with my athletes. And, uh, you know, over the years, people have gotten it, you know, and it's funny because, you know, I never know when they actually receive it in the mail because it comes like a week later. But it's, I can always tell when that individual starts taking Juice Plus to the day because they're literally behaving differently uh, just as a person and uh, they're performing better. Like they're just more turned on, I would call it. I mean, it's pretty incredible to see. And so over the years, the athletes that I've seen that are getting it, it's kind of weird because, you know, the people who get it are kind of, they start better and they see a way to get even better. And just, they're, they're the best. I mean, they're always the best on the team, the people that end up taking Juice Plus, taking their, you know, everything seriously in terms of nutrition, recovery, you know, fueling your body optimally and, you know, their performance. So I'll just tell you, tell you one more story. I don't know if I have time or not, but I'll just tell you another story. So uh, in 2014, uh, I, I had been coaching the high school uh, girls team, the novice girls, so kind of the low in the totem pole. And then the varsity men's coach ended up leaving that year. And he had a pretty decent team. Um, and then the club was trying to look for someone else, but I put up my hand and said, Hey, I think I can, I can do something. And so, you know, went through the process, uh, came up with a plan to get these guys to where we wanted to go, which was the, the club had never won a national championship before. 
um, on the men's side. And then the eight man boat is the, the toughest, uh, the toughest race to, to win. So we set a goal of winning the eight by the end of the year. So we go through the whole year. Everything's great. Uh, at regionals, they, uh, get third by nine seconds to the winner. Okay. So they qualified for nationals and they were pretty disappointed with that. They had won the, the quad and they had won, sorry, they won the four and the pair. So these guys wanted, the guys on the team, they wanted to just completely forget the eight. Like, no, we're not doing it, coach. You know, it's not going to work. We don't believe it. But you know, I had to, over a full week, I had to remind these guys what the goal of the year was. So, you know, I had, I told them all about Juice Plus right on the spot, right after that race. I said, guys, start taking this. We're going to make some changes to the training program. We're going to, you know, start to focus on recovery, performance, and all that. And so, anyways, long story short, six weeks later, we go to the national championship, and we win by uh, three seconds to the same team that beat us by nine seconds before. So 12 seconds turned around and literally the whole club, not only club, but the whole rowing world was just, couldn't believe what we had done. So anyways, that's my story. I have many more, but I think that's good for tonight. I love that. Oh my goodness. Like I feel so pumped up just hearing all these stories and then Tom closing it out with those amazing examples of what nutrition can do. <laughs> so excited. Okay. So I just have to say thank you to all the guest speakers because I am just like so encouraged and even more excited that, you know, I am fueling me and my family's body with this nutrition. I just know it does amazing things. And to hear you guys confirm that is incredible. So Juice Plus is so affordable. I know when I first heard of this information, I kind of was like, how do I get it? I don't even care how much it costs. But then I found out it was so affordable that it's only $2.50 a day to get 30 fruits and vegetables into you, your diet. And then you can get your kids for free. So I know we didn't mention this, but our company has a program called the Family Healthy Starts, where if you are taking Juice Plus as an adult, we can sponsor your child to get it for free for up to four years. And this is for children between the ages of four all the way to college and undergraduate. So this is an incredible program. My kids have benefited from this and it creates amazing results. Um, you can also start on the shake for $2.33 um, per serving. I know when I was in college, <laughs> I wish I had a meal that cost $2.33 that was as good for me and as nutritious. This is an incredible, like whenever I drink my shake, I feel like I'm actually cheating on my diet because it tastes so good. It's really for me like a dessert and my kids, they demand it. And it's such a great post or pre-recovery meal. It's just a no brainer. And then we also have the omegas, which is a great addition. And you heard all the benefits about that. That's only a dollar a day to take. So when you look at this muscle milk right here that a lot of people go and they buy that for $4 every time they go to work out, you can be flooding your body with all this nutrition for a little bit more than that or get started with one of these things for way less. It just makes sense. So I invite you to either join us as a customer or partner with us because we definitely need more people sharing this information. It's just, for me, when I first heard of this, I was telling the whole world about it because I knew I could not keep this to myself. It was just like an amazing solution to getting healthier and more than ever, more people are looking for ways to get healthier and easy solutions and we provide that. So if you are, interested in taking a look at what we do and locking arms with us, definitely reach back out to the person who invited you on here. And this could maybe not only be something that you add into your family's diet, but also be something that you can make some side income from also. So thank you once again to all our guest speakers. Thank you, Kendall, for an amazing presentation and good night, everyone. Thank you, everyone. This was so fun. Good night. Thank good night. you, guys. Have a good night. Thank you, and good night.
Good night. Good night. Good night. That was Thanks awesome. Thanks, you guys. <laughs>